It's a Ludwig. There's no W in German, you f- Hi, I'm Shane with the Drum Center of Portsmouth in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We are on the web at drumcenter.com. We are the largest independently owned drum store in the world, and all the drums and cymbals that you see in this video today are available for purchase in the links below. We have a very special, cool, new limited product that is exclusive to us, and that is the Ludwig Super 70s setup. So something might look a little unusual to you, but believe me, when we get under the hood, it becomes even more unusual. And that's the kind of stuff I like to deal with. If you know me at all, you know how much I love Ludwig Classic Maple Drums. I honestly say that this is the drum set that built this store. I think we've sold more high-end Ludwig Classic Maple than any other kit. I find them to be an outstanding value, incredible sound. I just absolutely love them. But there's always things I'd like to do. I like to tweak things here and there. So I came up with this idea. In the 70s, they had white marine pearl, but it is not like the white marine pearl we know and love today. It was different. It was like what we see uh, on the sky blue pearl type finish, that pattern, but in white. When I think of that finish, I could, the first thing I think of is Buddy Rich on his kit and his matching canister throne. It just, I loved the way that looked, especially with the blue olive badge that they offered back in the 70s. So I've been pestering Ludwig for quite some time about making this an option, and they finally gave in and complied. So thanks, Ludwig. I wanted to take it a little further too and make it a little bit more 70s, and so I wanted the bearing edges to have a more round profile. Now, Classic Maples come with a stock 45 degree sharp bearing edge, and what we did on this is a rounded bearing edge. And for those of you who aren't aware of what that does to the sound, the sharp bearing edge is gonna give you a bit more attack, whereas a round edge gives you a little bit more width and forgiveness. They're just a little bit more thumpy and pillowy. To top that off, I asked them to put the Resicoat white painted finish on the inside of the shells. Now that's something that they were doing in the 60s, but I figured it would look really cool, and it does. What we're going to do in this video today is demonstrate several different configurations with different players so you could hear the different dynamic response, different tones, and what these drums really sound like when played by different drummers. We're going to do four different configurations, and the configuration that you see me playing at, this is uh, the big setup with 8, 10, and 12-inch rack toms with a 16-inch floor tom and a 22-inch bass drum. 
Now each setup is going to have a different snare drum and we have four different exclusive snare drums with Ludwig so we are going to be featuring one of those drums in each different configuration. I have the extreme luxury of playing the Brass Beauty today. Now this drum is a, it's gorgeous. Seamless brass with all brass plated hardware and the new P86 throw off. This drum, it's a jewel. We also will be featuring the Blackest Beauty, which is going to be the same shell with all black setup, absolutely lethal. The Super Lux, and that is almost out, which is a 14 by five chrome over brass with matching chrome over brass hoops and eight lugs. And lastly, the Tulip Wood solid shell drum, which is a shell made by Noble and Cooley and then sent to Ludwig for finishing. That drum has been the most successful snare drum we've ever sold here at the shop. It is awesome, incredibly popular, highly suggested. These drums have the classic brackets, uh, like the ones that they were using in the 70s on the floor toms. And I didn't have them put it direct to shell. These rack toms are actually mounted on the Viber Band suspension system. But obviously you could take that bracket right off and drill it right into the shell if you'd like. Or if you want to put an Atlas mount on there, you can always just do that. We are offering these Super 70s drums in several different configurations, but also as a shell bank. So you can Pick out which drums you want and make your own drum kit from it. We've been doing that with the Vintage Black Oyster and the Digital Black Sparkle for quite some time. And people seem to love that because they can get exactly what they want right away. So if it's not in stock, it's likely on the way.
Symbols that we're going to be playing, Peisty, Formula 602s, are we going to be using those on the whole thing, Adam? The symbols I'm using today are Formula 602 Peisties, classic medium ride, 22 inch, 18 and 19 medium crash with 14 inch heavy hi-hats, which I'm absolutely loving. If you click below in the links, we will have links for all the drum set configurations and the shell bank page and all the symbols and all the hardware that you see here. I'm using the Speed Flyer double pedal, the Atlas standard hi-hat stand, and it looks like we have some Atlas Pro stands here as well. All of this is gonna be available for purchase in the links below. And if you don't see what you are looking for, just give us a call or an email or just order it on the site. I hope you dig these. I know that I do. This was a really big project. It's been taking quite some time to, to make this happen. And it's quite an investment to stock all of these drums, but I really think that these are really gonna connect with people. They look really cool. You're not gonna see these everywhere. And they sound great too. And I, I'd like to hear how you feel. Do you like the way these sound? Do you not? Do you like that edge? Do you notice the difference in the sound? Let us know in the comments below. We need to get your feedback because that helps us get better. As always, we really do appreciate your support. It's your support that allows us to do this. So hope you have a great summer. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That helps us when you do that. And we'll see you next time.